These beautiful curls are from Asteria Hair. They include the necessities to make the wig look amazing from the elastic band to secure it and the lashes to finish the look. This is a 13 by 4. The construction is standard. Two combs behind the lace, one at the nape, as well as the adjustable straps. The hairline is pre-plucked. You can pop it on straight out the bag and go, or you can go in and customize it a little bit more, which is what I did. These curls look beautiful dry, but they're going to look even better once we define them. I used a 40 volume developer and BW2 powder to bleach the knots. With a 40 volume developer, you get a higher lift, which you don't necessarily need with this wig because the knots are so thin. So just watch it if you decide to use a 40. You don't want your mixture to bleed onto the hair. Now I love the finished result. I think it looks really good, really natural, and the curls are beautiful. Now what I use on the curls, I had this around. I actually got this from Amazon. It was a gift, and it's the Pureology Hydrate Shampoo and Conditioner. And I also use the Shimmer Lights Purple Shampoo to tone the knots, which I always do. Um, but the hair, just beautiful. Now, I can't say if it's because of the shampoo, the conditioner, or whatever. But these curls are beautiful. And all I'm using is a comb. I went ahead and cut out my ear tabs so that the wig can fit nicely in front of my ear. And this is how it's looking. The hair is completely dry at this point. Now this lace is absolutely beautiful. I wanted to cut off the side so you can really see. I don't want to say it's invisible, but you can barely see it. <laughs> so I'm cutting off the middle and the way I cut my hairline is just straight across. I stopped doing the zigzag thing I used to do and now I just prefer to do straight across. I'm gonna prepare my hairline with some alcohol. I do have makeup on and my makeup is darker than my face and that's okay. That's that's what I like, okay? You can see just how beautiful that lace is without anything on it. I don't have my foundation on it. It's just sitting on my skin and it looks good. I'm just making sure that the wig is situated nicely before I glue it down because once that glue is on, that's it. To secure the wig, I am using the Olive Oil Wig Grip Gel, not glue. I know somebody is going to tell me it's glue. It's gel. Okay. So I just go ahead and move my lace out the way. And I didn't have a popsicle stick, which is what I would usually prefer to use. So I'm using the back of my comb. I'm doing a few things wrong. I'm, I'm putting it back, forth, forth, back. You should try to keep it in the same direction so when you apply the second layer, because I do do this two times, um, you don't want to be lifting up the glue, if that makes sense. So if I'm pushing it all towards the back the first time, I need to put it on pushing it all towards the back the second time. If the first time is to the back, the second time is to the front, it's going to be lifting. I hope that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. This is a great glue alternative. If you've never used glue and you want to dabble in an adhesive for your wig, I would try this out. It is moisturizing. Even after I take it off, like take the wig off, my hairline doesn't feel dry. The skin around my hairline doesn't feel dry. And it doesn't give you a super, super hold. Like it's not going to last a week. I don't think there's anything you could do to this to make it last a week. It's like a day, two, maybe three, and take it off, you move on to the next wig. Oh, also a good thing about this is it doesn't, it's not hard to wash off of your wigs.
Now, don't be like me and use a cotton ball to apply your alcohol to your hairline because it's going to leave little remnants of cotton. It's going to get stuck in your glue and you won't see it until the lace is down, which is what's happening to me. And it was so hard to get this out, but I finally did it. It did leave my glue looking a little bit weird, but I just had to do what I had to do. I did tie my hair down with my satin scarf and I let the gel dry and this is how it's looking. It's secure. It's not going anywhere and the lace still looks really nice. Now I'm going to go in and correct my makeup to match the, the lace, um, well the hairline, but that's going to be like the last step. I went and did my baby hair with the Eco Styler Gel. I like the Eco Styler Gel because it doesn't counteract the gel that I use to lay the lace down. Once this hair gets back wet, I mean, these curls just come back to life. As far as tangling and shedding, I had no problems at all with tangling. And this time I did something different. I shampooed and conditioned my hair without using a brush. And you saw how the comb went straight through. No problems as far as shedding. The only shedding I got was from the frontal when I tweezed the hairline. And I do still have my wig cap under, so I'm parting it just to show you that's what you're seeing that's light. But I'm going to end up pulling it out from the back once I'm done. Garnier Fructis Curl Scrunch, my holy grail. I use it for all of my curly hair. There's no denying that this hair is beautiful whether you like your curls wet or dry. The lace melted with no glue. This lace is melted with no glue. I had to say that twice because... It's amazing. If you're looking for a 14 inch curly natural bob, a stereo links will be in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bring in the blurry lights